Hi, everybody. Shall we try this again? How's everybody doing today? I knew it was time to start because I'm at the Scranton studio. I hear the church bells ringing. So I'll give you some time to get settled. Give you some time to grab your props. We're going to do a 60 to 70 minute practice, yin practice today, yin and meditation. So if you want to use any props, you can use a block, you can use a blanket and bolster if you have one. If you don't have um, a bolster, a yoga bolster, you can use a bed pillow, you could use a pillow from the couch maybe. So um, yeah, let me just give you a couple minutes while I ground and um, prepare for our class today. pretty sure that the phone is all charged up and ready to go and we should not have a problem today. All right, so how about we begin? Everybody ready? Can somebody, is somebody out there maybe can give me a heads up that you can hear me, we're good, we're ready to go? Otherwise, I will just trust that we are. So, at times like these, we got to dig deep. You know, we have to dig deep to raise our vibration because the vibration is very low right now. It's really heavy. There's a lot of fear um, in our community, in our country, in our world. There's a lot of um, negativity. There's a lot of doubt. And living in that every day can really bring us down and drain us, um, even though we think that we take care of ourselves and we try to be positive, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to try to stop. It's going to try to push our, our vibration down. So we really have to dig deep and find a sense of trust and a sense of faith and a sense of healing and positivity um, and confidence that we are going to be okay. And um, the practice of yoga, especially the practice of yin yoga, which is going to really move some blocked energy and fear, stress and tension from our body, um, especially the practice of yin yoga is going to remind ourselves that we do have the capacity to boost our immune system and to heal on our own. Okay, so I want you all to remember that in times like this. Um, really dig deep, because fear is going to weaken your system, and nobody wants that right now. So we got to um, we got to stay in the love, and we got to raise our vibrations on a daily basis, um, so that we can get through this together. All right, let's begin. Let's find our way onto our backs. So everybody, just find your way onto your back. If you want to use any props, feel free. Maybe a blanket under your head or bolster under your knees. And just take a moment to completely soften and surrender to the mat. Feel as if the mat is rising up to meet you, to hold you, so that you feel like you don't have to hold yourself up right now. And if you feel comfortable closing your eyes, let your eyes fall softly shut. If you'd rather keep them open, then that's fine too. And just take this time to drop into the room, 
Take some time to drop into your body and just start to become aware of everything in this moment, the good, the bad, without labeling it, without judging it. Just let it be. Let it be as it needs to be. Letting go of any attachment, letting go of any judgment, just simply existing, taking up space. And start to notice your breath, where it's living in the body. Notice where it's flowing freely, any places that you feel stuck or that you feel stagnant. And give the light a breath, give the light, or give the, give the light a breath, give the breath a light, or give the breath a color, just something to visualize as you watch it move in and as you watch it move out. Giving your mind something to do other than to think and tell yourself stories of past and a future. As we find our way into the present moment. And dropping back into our bodies. And as you watch the breath, start to feel it expand through you. Not just breathing up and down, but also breathing out and in. Feel as if your breath is so expansive that it's breathing out to all four corners of the room and then back into your core center and out and in. And then start to imagine that this breath, this light, is healing energy, crystal clear healing energy. And begin to watch this light as it starts to move into the soles of the feet. Into the ankles into the lower leg, into the upper leg, as it just softens all the large muscles in the legs that are holding on to negativity, holding on to tension. And then feel this healing light as it moves into the lower back, the pelvis, and the hip. And feel a sense of opening, feel a sense of grounding, a stress, tension, and negativity becomes absorbed by the mat beneath you. And begin to feel this healing light as it moves into the middle back, into the belly and the rib cage. As everything softens, creating space creating light in our power center. We want to keep that. We want to keep that light. We want to keep that open. And then feel the light move into your upper back and into your chest, easing your breath as your shoulder blades soften, open, surrender to the mat. And feel the breath move into your throat and into the back of the neck. And feel any fear, any worry, anything heavy that you're carrying just melt away like a warm liquid as it moves down the upper arm, as it moves into the inner elbow, into the outer elbow, into the lower arm into the hands and out each fingertip. Feel as if your arms are not even attached to your body right now. And bring the attention to the throat and into the jaw. Maybe unclench your jaw, place the tongue at the top of the feet, teeth. <laughs> yeah, don't place your tongue on your feet. 
Place the tongue at the top, the back top of the teeth, and let your lips part. And feel the muscles melt down the face. Soften the front of the eye, soften the back of the eye. Smooth out the wrinkles, the worry, and the fear of your forehead as the relaxation melts into the temples, into the outer ear, into the inner ear. Feel it drip into the base of the skull as all discomfort, tension, and tightness absorbs and melts into the mouth. Feel the back of the head soften and release and the sides of the head. And then feel the crown of the head begin to open and receive light and spirit into the body as crystal light begins to move through you, healing you even more. And feel this healing light become a bubble that will hold you and support you for the remainder of this practice today. And with this new sense of healing energy, grounding and balance, a sense of awareness and a sense of presence, begin to find some gentle movement as you bring yourself back just a little bit, not all the way, just enough to hear and just enough to move. And start to find some gentle movement as you wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and move your head from side to side on the mat. At this point, you can keep your eyes open, door closed. And then stretch your arms to the back of the room, and stretch your legs to the front of the room. Stretch a little longer on one side, stretch a little longer on the other. And then bend your knees and hug them into your chest, giving yourself a nice squeeze. And raise your right arm above your head and roll gently onto your right side. Just taking a moment here. And then slowly help yourself up to seated. Sitting tall on your mat in Sukhasana, the palms could be down or up to receive. And let's take a deep breath in together and a deep breath out together. And at this time, if you'd like to set an intention for your class, you may draw your hands to your heart and call into your practice and call into your life something that you need. Sitting here in this moment, what do you want? What do you need? And when you're done, let it go, let it go and just send it up to the universe. Trust that the universe will take care of the details. And we are ready to begin our activity and practice. So um, if you need any props, you can grab them. Make sure they're close by you. We're going to begin with butterfly. And uh, we did this in the last... Uh, last class when the phone died. So we're going to start again with this. We are going to bend at the knees. We're going to let the soles of the feet touch. Traditionally in yin, the feet are not as close to you, but if you want to keep them there, go ahead and do so. If you want to keep them further, more like a tarasana, you could do that. You can keep them midway. Okay. And you're going to really ground through the sitting bones. And lengthen through the side body so that you're lifting up out of the lower back. And just let the neck be neutral and just take a moment here. We're going to be in this pose for about three minutes, so you don't want to go right to your edge. Now, you could just sit tall like this without folding. If you want to fold, you're going to take a nice deep breath in, maybe placing a block or a pillow, and then you're going to exhale and just fold fall forward with a nice soft spine. 
And this is it. And in Yin, there's not a whole lot of talking. There's no talking, so I'm going to be silent for the remainder of this pose to allow you to get in touch with your emotions, to get in touch with your dust discomfort so that you can learn to regulate and be okay in the midst of discomfort. And really work on surrendering into the muscles rather than clenching them or resisting. Okay, so we're in it, and I'll cue you out when we're ready to end the pose. there. So if you'd like to go a little bit deeper at this time, you can do so. Just a few more breaths. Breathe into your deepest place. Breathe to the edge. And very slowly begin to rise. And stretch your legs out, one by one, feet are soft. If movement feels good, you can move a little bit if you'd like to. Massage the muscles, or maybe take a stretch back. Just whatever feels good to you, and feel, just feel the sensation. Notice what's, what's happening. You might feel a warm, or a cool, or a tingling. That's the energy moving. And we'll just sit here to let everything settle just for a bit, not too long. Just coming back to the body without judgment, without interpretation. Just be, just become aware. And our next pose is going to be um, half dragonfly. We did it in the last class, so we're doing it again. I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see me. Okay, 
So you're going to take your left leg out. The foot is soft and yin. Don't flex your foot. You're going to take the right foot in at the thigh. Make sure you're grounding through the sitting bones and once again always lifting up out of the waist. And again, you could use any props, your block, your bolster. Options here are to fold to center or anywhere towards the left leg. Okay? We are going to be in this three minutes on each side, and we're going to begin now. Inhale deeply, and exhale, fold, soften the neck, the jaw. You're going to be breathing, but nice and slow, controlled. Eyes could be opened or closed, and resist the urge to fidget, right? Try to be in it. If for any reason you have pain, which is like hot, sharp, please adjust yourself and coming into something that works for you, use any modification. However, if you have discomfort, you want to be in that. That's like cool, achy, dull. You want to be in that and just kind of surrender. Halfway there, stay with it. And breathe into your deepest place, right to the edge, in and out, sink into it, melt into it. Stretch your right leg out straight. Stretch your left leg out straight. Maybe scoot from side to side or bounce the, the legs or just sit. Eyes opened or closed, feet soft. And just notice, be aware, be present. into the other side. We're going to take the left leg out and we're going to take the right foot in. Same thing here. You might feel, although you might feel a little bit different from side to side, that's natural. So I'll modify as you need and remember don't go right to your edge and remember that the right foot is soft. Using any props that you need, take a very deep breath in. 
And on the exhale, hinge forward from the hips and fold. Anywhere from center towards the right leg, you can soften into it, surrender into it, and come to the breath. Three minutes on this side. I'm just going to sneak out to get a sip of water while you're in this, and I'll be back. Okay, so we're just about there. So breathe deep into the deepest place, right to your edge. Deep breath in, really full, deep breath out. And slowly begin to rise. Take a moment and then stretch both legs out, eyes open or closed, same thing goes as usual as always. And just listen to the body, not the mind, but the body. And getting ready to transition to our next pose, which will be a wide leg child's pose. You can come right down onto the mat. Toes touch, hips back, get long through the spine, forehead to mat, or turn on one cheek. And you can also use a bolster by placing the bolster between the thighs. Don't sit on the bolster. Don't sit on the bolster. You want to hug the bolster with your inner thighs. And you want to just melt. Melt right down into it softly. Coming onto one cheek, hugging the bolster. And we'll be here for three minutes. And I'll cue you when we're getting close to the edge so that you can go deeper if you'd like. I'm not going to use a bolster today because my hips are really tight, so I want to get a good stretch. And I have a good feeling that the phone is not Halfway through, you want to um, switch cheeks for as soon as your neck gets tired on that one side. You can go ahead and do so.
about coming to the end. So you want to breathe to the deepest place, right to the edge. Very slowly bringing your attention back, begin to rise. Now, if you have sensitive knees, you want to come right to easy seat, like I am. If your knees are okay, then you're going to stay in the shape of the legs just for a few breaths. Okay, you just want to stay here, eyes opened or closed. You might even want to stretch back. Getting a nice stretch in the opposite direction. Eyes open or eyes closed. This also, by the way, is a really good stretch for the ankles as well. All right, so let's come back to easy seat. And we're going to do um, just one more deep hip leg stretch on each side. It's also going to be a two-sided series. And it's going to be either half shoelace or full shoelace pose. So I'm going to demo both. I'm going to take your left leg out, foot is soft. You're going to place your right knee over the left knee. And you're going to sit tall. You're going to inhale deeply. Excuse me. And you're going to exhale and you're going to fold. Rounding the spine, gently drawing the navel back, tucking your chin into the chest to relax the neck. And full shoelace pose would be to then bring the left foot back, stacking the knees, maybe holding on to the feet to fold or just bringing the hands forward twofold. If at any time this becomes too intense or it hurts your knees, please, please back off. Please back off and extend the left leg as so. Okay, I'm really tight on my right side. My right side's the bad side, the injured side. So I'm just gonna do half today on this side. And three minutes, and I will cue you when we're getting towards the end. Really work on softening the muscle rather than fighting or resisting against it. And when the mind starts to wander, because I'm sure it will, when it starts to think or it starts to judge, it starts to tell you that it's too uncomfortable and that you can't. Again, that's when it's time to go within and use your breath to not label the sensation as good or bad, just, just be in it. Nothing more than sensation. We have the power to label it right or wrong. We have the power to label it good or bad.
coming close to the end. So you can go a little bit deeper at this point. Stay where you are if you're good. Really breathing to the deepest place, breathing right to the edge. Just sit with it, movement or not, just for a few breaths in and out, just to let everything settle on that side. And preparing to transition into the other side. As always, you will feel a little bit different on this side, for sure, so modify or deepen as needed. Okay, so this time we're going to keep the right leg straight, and we're going to cross the left knee over for half, or for full, we're going to bring the right leg back. So I'm a little bit looser on this side, so I think I'm going to stay in full on this side. You listen to your body and do what you need. Let's take a nice deep breath in and exhale, gently fold with a nice round spine, mm -hmm. in the chin to the chest. Good, and just be in it, present and aware. Nothing but sensation, nothing but breath. Three minutes here. Wherever you're feeling the most discomfort is where the stress and tension and even trauma lives. We want to really focus on directing the healing breath to these areas so that we can discharge it out of the body. Good. Take a really deep breath in and out. Nice and slow. Just begin to rise. And slowly unravel the legs, taking them out, movement or not. Maybe bouncing, maybe just sitting, eyes opened or eyes closed.
pose, we're going to be on our belly for Sphinx Pose. I think I'm going to move this camera up a little bit so you can see a little bit more of me. <laughs> so I like to take a folded blanket to place under my hip. <clears throat> what you're going to do is to lie down on your belly. Back up a little bit. Not that you can see the important parts. And your legs are long. Taking your legs out about mat width apart. Letting your heels flop out. Toes in to open your lower spine. And I gotta pull my blanket back now. So that's what I'm doing. So get yourself settled. You want to really feel your pelvis sink into the mat. You want to feel your belly puff into the mat to open up your lower back. And then you want to take your arms out in front of you at 90 degrees, maybe about elbows about an inch out from the shoulders. And you want to spread your fingers wide. You want to press into the hips. Soften the belly to release your lower back and lengthen through the spine with a slight sensation of drawing the hands back towards the body. It's very subtle. And then your gaze is going to be down to your thumbs. If this gets to be way too much on your neck, you can drop the chin right into the chest. And if it's too much for your shoulders, then you can Clasp the hands, maybe even walking the elbow further a little bit. That feels kind of good for me today, so I think I'm going to stay there. And we're going to be here for about two minutes longer. Eyes could be opened, eyes could be closed. When you breathe in, feel your belly open, puff. Puff, 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 that's the word it is today. Puff. Your belly open to the mat on the inhale, or yeah, the inhale. And as you exhale, pull the belly back towards the spine. Again, really, really subtle. Almost there. So this is just an offering. Please stay here if this is enough. If at this time, for the last about 30 seconds, if you want to take your arms out in front of, or your hands out in front of you and stretch your arms straight, you can go ahead and you can do that for caterpillar pose. Just a few more breaths. Almost there. Great for strengthening, the opening to lower back and the chest and opening up the heart and throat chakra. Good. Last couple breaths in. And out, and slowly begin to release. You're going to take your forearms across the mat, stacking the hands on top of each other, and you're going to just rest your forehead on your hands, letting your pelvis and hips melt into the mat. Just lie here, and if it feels good, you can bring the legs in, and windshield wiper them back and forth. I think you can continue doing that a little bit. 
just take a moment here, completely melting, completely surrendering. Feel the mat absorb you. Feel your breath rise and feel your breath fall. Very nice, and I know you might not want to move, but we are. So come on up again and move your blanket out of the way. As a matter of fact, we're going to come down onto our backs. So if you want to keep your blanket that you have handy, you can place it maybe under your head for a pillow. Okay. I'm going to take a quick little sip of water while you get settled on your back. Allergies are not good today. All right, here we go. So lying down on your back. Let's just make sure you can see me. Lie down. You're going to hug the knees up into the chest and just rock from side to side, maybe just making little small circles on your lower back in one direction and in the other direction. And then you're going to take your hands just under your knee on your shins and you're going to separate the knees outside of your ribs, the knees and the feet. And you want to soften your lower back, your tailbone, into the mat. And you're going to just gently pull the knees back towards the armpits. And we're going to stay here for about two minutes. And this is wonderful for digestion. It gets into the ascending and descending colon. Really helps to keep things moving. Helps to relieve bloating, cramps in the belly. So the eyes can be opened. The eyes could be closed and just gently pulling. And I know some of you may just have this like really strong desire right now to come to Happy Baby. So if you want to, you can just by grabbing the feet or yogi toe locking the big toes and stretching the feet up to the ceiling or directing the feet to the ceiling and gently pressing through the hips down through the knees. All right, so those are just some options, and we're just going to be here just for a couple breaths longer, or just a little more than a couple breaths, but we're just about there. And this is just releasing any compression that you might have built up in the hips, the lower back, or the spine. So stay with it. Nice, smooth, steady breath. Just about coming to the end. So really breathe into the tension, the tightness. Feel it discharge from the body. And then whether you're in happy baby or you're still gently hugging the knees in, you're going to stretch each leg out long on the mat, and you're going to reach your arms back behind you, really stretching the belly, maybe even lifting up, arching the lower back, and stretch a little longer on one side, stretch a little bit longer on the other side. Really enjoy the space that you've created. Now we're going 
start to really wind it down. Oh wait, but first I almost forgot. We're going to ground down through the lower back and we're going to stretch our legs straight up in the air for the Parisa Karani legs up the wall. Almost forgot about this one. Not quite to what I was just going to do yet. So your arms are alongside the body. You want to really press your lower back into the mat. And you want to direct your heels up towards the sky as if you're standing on the ceiling. Try to get the legs straight, lengthening the backs of the legs, the hamstrings. If that's not happening for you, it's fine. Keep the knees bent as much as you need. But just try to stay with it. You're pressing the lower back into the mat and you're gently drawing the navel towards the spine. Just reversing the effects of gravity on the body, which is very, very healing for the central nervous system, for our organs. It's great for circulation. It's very calming. It's good for anxiety. So this is a good one. You should try to do this every day. Just a little bit longer, stay with it. If you're shaking, that's okay, let it happen. It's just the body's way of waking up. Start to bend the knees and hug them into the chest. If you'd like, you can round the forehead up to meet the knees. And then once again, stretch the legs out long, stretch the arms back. And now we're going to hug the knees up into the chest. And we're going to take our arms out to a T position. And we're going to let the legs fall heavy to the right. For reclined spinal twist. If you'd like, you can place your right hand just outside your left leg for just a little bit of support. And then if you'd like, you can raise your left arm up over your head Maybe glancing out towards the left fingertips, opening up the left lung meridian. Nice, soft breath. Just feeling any last bit of tension just unraveling from the body. Preparing our minds and preparing our whole bodies for for rest, where the healing can really take place. Very nice. And slowly transitioning out of that side. If you need to, you could place the soles of the feet down on the mat, scoot your hips over to the right, and then coming into the 
other side, arms out to a T, and let the legs fall heavy to the left. And you can this time take the left hand to the outside of the right leg and maybe take the right arm up above the head to open up the right lung meridian. And and unravel any last final bits of whatever no longer serves from the body. Once you become settled, and let your eyes fall softly shut. Really slow down your breath, barely breathing in and barely breathing out. And just feel the vibration of your practice as it moves through you. And feel the love. Feel the truth within you. And know that anything, anything other than this is just an illusion. And take this time for yourself and enjoy your Shabbat.
stay there for as long as you need. If you're ready to come out, you can begin to bring some gentle awareness back to the body, finding some movement, wiggling the fingers, wiggling the toes, maybe moving the head side to side. And then bend your knees in, placing the soles of the feet back to the earth, grounding. And raise your right arm above your head. Gently roll onto your right side, resting here for just a moment. And help yourself up keeping your eyes closed to a seated position. And take a deep breath in, and take a full deep breath out. Bring your hands to your heart, and bow your head in dedication to your practice. Victory to our spirit, peace to all beings. Thank you so much for sharing this practice with me today. Be well. Namaste. And thank you so much, everyone tuning in. Um, if you couldn't catch this live um, in a little bit, it will be available on um, uh, YouTube, um, I'm pretty sure, or our Mission Yoga Scranton Facebook page. Um, but I do know it's available um, in a little bit for everybody to view. Um, if you couldn't join me, and it was, well, it felt really good to teach again, and I wish you all here in the room with me, but I hope that I reached um, a bunch of people that have maybe moved out of the area and um, are not able to come to class anymore. Um, miss everybody, and as always, um, I love you, and I wish you all the best, and have a wonderful day, and don't remember, or do remember to please, um, Dig deep and don't feed into the fear and um, the negative bullshit that may be going on, okay? You got to live in the love. You got to stay in the positive energy and the health or um, it's going to weaken your immune system. So um, peace, everybody. Be good. <laughs>